The world of optics is flat, or at least it could be, thanks to new work involving metasurfaces. We'll show you why curved lenses could be a thing of the past this week on Light Matters. This is Light Matters for March 4th, 2015. I'm Rod Pedrotti. And I'm James Lowe. On this week's show, we'll hear from a researcher on the cutting edge of a totally new approach to optics. But first, we'll learn about how standard printers can help terahertz communications, how two European consortia are advancing photonics research, and get a new perspective on what's been dubbed the optics capital of America. Flying 15,000 feet over downtown Rochester, New York at night, a mid-wave infrared sensor from Excellus captured in detail the movements of cars and pedestrians. The company's Corvus I 1500 system captures high-resolution visible and IR motion imagery during the day and night over an area of up to one and a quarter miles in diameter. It can generate up to 10 high-resolution views of different areas of interest simultaneously. Now, Excellus said the system can be used to track movements that may be connected to hazardous or even illegal activity. The turret and sensor package is small and light enough to fit on most mid-size unmanned and manned aircraft. Meanwhile, Rochester is celebrating the International Year of Light and Light-Based Technologies with a full calendar of events, including demonstrations this weekend at the Rochester Museum and Science Center by optics experts from the University of Rochester. You can rock the Year of Light with America's Optics Capital at rocthyol.com and light2015.org. You can get into the IYL 2015 spirit with a light-themed playlist from Photonics Media. Every Tuesday and Thursday, we share a new song on Facebook and Twitter. Recent cuts have been Red Lenses by Rush and Go to the Mirror by The Who. You can find the whole playlist with more than two and a half hours worth of music by searching for IYL 2015 on Spotify. Tell us your favorite tune about lasers, optics, microscopes, anything to do with light, and we'll add it to the playlist. You can get in touch via social media or by emailing lightmatters at photonics.com. Plasmonic filters created with an off-the-shelf inkjet printer could enable blazing fast wireless downloads and clearer cell phone calls using the terahertz spectrum. University of Utah researchers developed the filters, which are created with a silver metal ink similar to what is used in the production of circuit boards and tiny antennas. Terahertz technology has the potential to send data back and forth at terabits per second. Filters will be vital components in terahertz communications networks because it will be necessary to separate frequencies in order to create multiple channels. A current limitation of terahertz frequencies is that they require a line of sight and can transmit only over short distances. But some researchers have already achieved fast download speeds with wireless terahertz chips. And other researchers are interested in broadcasting 4K television signals over the air with cameras that use the terahertz spectrum. The research was published in Optica. After the break, we'll have the latest in European photonics research and an inside look at flat optics. Calling all biophotonics innovators. Photonics Media is seeking presenters for Biophotonic Imaging for Medicine, a free digital conference to be held on June 11th. Abstracts are due by March 20th. You can find out more at photonics.com bioconference. Two European research projects kicked off recently to examine new photonic solutions for data communications and manufacturing. Tyndall National Institute of Ireland will lead a consortium of researchers in a three-year, 5.2 million euro project to develop photonic circuits for faster, cheaper data transmission. The Thermally Integrated Smart Photonic System, or TIPS, project is funded under the European Union's Horizon 2020 program and includes industry and research partners from Ireland, Germany, the Netherlands, as well as France. Meanwhile, the German Federal Ministry of Education and Research is providing 2 million euros per year for up to 15 years for the Digital Photonic Production Research Campus at RWTH Aachen University. Now, work at the DPP will focus on laser additive manufacturing methods, as well as techniques that use ultrafast lasers and vertical cavity surface emitting laser or VIXEL beam sources. Twenty industrial partners, including Siemens and the Fraunhofer Institute for Laser Technology, are involved in the project. Overcoming a limitation of earlier flat optics, a new achromatic metasurface is able to bend different wavelengths of light by the same amount. The ultra-thin flat lens is composed of a glass substrate covered in nanoscale silicon optical antennas. These antennas can be designed to manipulate how light passing through the lens is diffracted, 
potentially allowing the metasurface to generate a perfectly focused image or a twisting vortex beam. Photonics Media recently hosted a webinar presented by the lead researcher on the project, Dr. Federico Capasso of Harvard University. In the hour-long session, he described how the dispersion-correcting work of thick, conventional lenses can be done by a 2D metasurface. Uh, the flat lens imparts uh, the right amount of phase to compensate for these propagation phase shifts, okay, so that all the points from the surface, okay, to the focus at any wavelengths, okay, you get the total, at, at the design wavelengths, I should say, you get the same phase shift. Google has its eye on the research for possible integration into micro displays and imaging systems. And Capasso even said one company is interested in incorporating the technology into sunglasses. The research was published in Science, and you can watch the recording of Capasso's webinar at photonics.com slash webinars. And that's it for this week's show. Don't forget to check out our IYL 2015 playlist on Facebook, Twitter, and Spotify. And as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you next week.